Hello and welcome to another train video. This is the um, second video um, regarding the intake certification uh, workflow process. Um, in the last video, we talked about this flow chart. Okay, so let's go ahead um, and I'll show you uh, what, what we need to do in Yardi to initiate the intake workflow process. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll get away from the flowchart here and we'll log into Yardi. Actually, we're logged in already. Um, so if we land on the Housing Authority Manager uh, role, we can just go press on role or click on role and we'll look for the Rent Cafe PHA role. All right. Okay, here we are at Rent Cafe PHA. And what we want to do is go to functions and we want to initiate the intake workflow. Click on that. Okay, so here we have the initiate intake workflow screen. So this works pretty much like any uh, report or uh, filter based uh, type of function when you're in uh, Yardi Voyager. So here you can put in the uh, desired wait list up on top there. Uh, we already know who we want to use um, for this uh, for this demo. It's a test record, so we have that T code up there. So this is a uh, this is um, a record or an applicant. It's a fictional applicant. Uh, we had already gone through the application, the pre-application process. Well, first we registered, then we went through the pre-application process, and uh, Mr. Stark is just sitting out there, right? So he's basically waiting for us to initiate the uh, intake certification process so that he knows to begin his process um, to begin the entire uh, the full application. So anyway, we know, I know that he uh, had been selected, uh, selected on the wait list uh, on this date, between this date 6-1-2021 and 6-3-2021. Um, so I put those dates there anyway. Um, we also, what we want to do is include the Rent Cafe URL, which should already be populated on that filter if everything is set up correctly. Um, for this demo, we put in a letter and email, which means that the family is going to be notified via letter or email. Then the due date, the due date needs to be some date in the future. Uh, that's important because this um, the screen won't let you submit unless it's like past today's date. It Again, it'll have to be a date in the future. So let's go ahead and hit the submit button. And we should get Mr. Tony Stark, which is who we are after because we put his T code in the tenant code. So what we want to do is we want to initiate his process. Okay, so from here, um, what we can do is we can take a we can click on the view uh, link to take a look at the uh, letter that we would be sending him in theory. Okay, so this is a draft of the letter that we're going to be sending him. It, uh, it's also going to be the letter that if we notify him via email, um, this is going to be the letter that is attached to the email as well. So here, um, you can see our header up here. Uh, we have some greetings here, Tony Stark. Okay, uh, dear Tony Stark, uh, the subject, your application has been selected. Okay, so it says your application has been selected from the Section 8 um, Housing Choice Voucher wait list, waiting list, and you may now begin the intake certification process. To get started, log into our online portal by going to the website and using your username shown below. Uh, and that is the username. That's a fictional username. Well, that's a test user name right there. Uh, once you log in, click on the certification button and follow the instructions on the screen. Um, if you're unable to complete the intake certification online, contact our agency at the 3100 number, which is the call center. Okay, and that will, when they call them, they should be able to give some assistance in completing um, 
that process. So uh, also listed here is the portal website here. Um, this is the due date. So it just lets the user know to complete the task, which is the certification task by 7-31-2021. And that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and close that out. Okay. Um, what else? I think that's about it. If you click on the email tab here, it basically tells you or lists the folks that are going to be sent an email. The letter tab basically tells you which um, uh, tenants are going to, um, which tenants the system is going to generate that uh, that letter for. And that's pretty much it. So I am going to go ahead and post to batch right now. So this basically tells us that that workflow uh, posted successfully with the batch number 46. Uh, please remember that batch number because you um, may need to uh, use that batch number uh, for future items like running reports and such. So you will, uh, you should probably write that down for your record so you can use that batch number in the future. Okay, so we're posted. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the other dashboards here. In the Rent Cafe role, we're going to look at the compliance certification dashboard. We'll click on intake and we'll go. Okay. Okay, so here the dashboard um, has been updated. And it looks like we have a few records out there. These are all, they should all be test records because this is the test database for Rent Cafe. So if we click on, we just initiated Tony Stark. He's the person that we're after. So if we click on initiated, his status should be initiated. And here we are, we have Tony Stark here. So he is ready to go. So the next step would be for Tony to be notified via email or um, you know old school letter generation letter where you, we would have staff I'll take that letter print it out send it via a uh, regular mail post office mail okay uh, either way he'll be notified so that he will know to go ahead and log into rent cafe and begin that certification process okay so that concludes this video. We have done another process. So hang on one second. So yes, we have done another step in the process and that is this right here, initiate the intake workflow from Yardy Voyager. Okay, so we are ready for the next step. And this is going to end this video. Um, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.